are the most standoutish ways to you that Miles has grown as a person since 2021? Well, with with experience um, and some of the ups and downs that come with uh, the things that have happened here over the last several years, there's going to be growth. <clears throat> you go through hard times. There's going to be uh, there's going to be growth um, through it all. He's remained a, a positive influence, um, a positive leader, um, and a guy that every day comes in and, and works at his craft. I mean, he works at his body um, and he works at his game and he works he works at his relationship with his teammates. We talked last night about film watching, going back to the regular season, seeing how they were covering him and that helped him have a, an effective game. Have you seen his film watching process change at all or the way he takes in that information as he's grown as a player? As guys evolve in the NBA, um, <clears throat> what I've noticed is that um, guys will streamline what they're doing with film. They'll, they'll, they'll learn the things that they need to look at um, that are the key things for their game. Um, and so, you know, Miles looks at film with Lloyd Pierce every day. And they look at, they look at the, the last game um, that was just played. They looked at you know, if it's during the regular season, it'll be something about the last time we played a team like that. Um, but he's a conscientious, Miles is a conscientious guy and, and a great teammate. Before, before we came up here that Damian Lillard might be doubtful for the next game. Same with Giannis. You prep like he's playing, and if he doesn't, adjust from there. Yeah. Obi had probably his best statistical game of the uh, series last night. Did you sense anything different with him, or, or you know how important is he to kind of your success moving forward in the series? Yeah, he's he's one of our he's one of our key players. Um, this is great that he's getting this kind of extended playoff experience in games. Um, yeah, he played some last year and did good things last year, but you know there's. There's more responsibility this year, and he's 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 learning what rising to those expectations is about, and um, just need him to continue to do the things that are the simple things that, that make him an effective player. You know, the running, shooting open shots, putting pressure on the rim, um, you know, playing defense without fouling, rebounding. Mm -hmm. There's some players that when they perform well, the crowd. Recognize it even more, gets even louder. Is Obi one of those guys? And if so, what would you attribute that to? Well, he, he's he's always a fan favorite because of his vibe, his body language, those kinds of things. Um, <clears throat> but you know, one of the things we talked about last night, you know, both at halftime and after the game and today, is that you know you're at home in an energetic environment. Um, and something good happens, you know, we want to celebrate, but ex celebrations can't be extended. You know, we, we've got to, in a playoff series, <clears throat> particularly if you move from game two to game three, game three to game four, you got to get to the next task very quickly. <clears throat> and so we're, we're going to make a, an effort as a team for everyone to do a better job of that in game four. Um, you know, we're we're dealing with a team that is a <clears throat> playoff hardened, experienced group with a championship pedigree, and these guys aren't going away, no matter who's playing or not playing. <clears throat> and you know, we have every every expectation that you know Giannis is going to be back in the fold soon. Um, we're preparing for him to be there tomorrow, and you know. If he is, if he isn't, then you know we'll prepare for him to be there for game game five. So, but as a group, we need to keep a, a, a level head. <clears throat> we, we need to keep um, you know the correct perspective on this. There's a lot of things that we got to do better <clears throat> than we did last night. Um, we fought our fought our way to a, an important win, um, but again, it's just. It's just one win, and we've got to move forward and, and address other things that need to be addressed. You talked about, you know, counters to 
Milwaukee's counters, and having seen this team eight times, uh, do you expect them to bring anything else to the table? Like, is, I think this is the most you've seen a team, you know, in one season. Do you expect anything else for the Bucks to bring to the table to potentially have to counter, or how is that process like? It's the playoffs. Expect anything at any time. They got experienced coaching staff. Um, there could be different guys in the rotation. <laughs> If Giannis is back, I'd say that that's something different, you know. And so <clears throat> we just got to be we got to be ready for everything. On the one hand, on the other hand, you know, getting into a getting into a thing where you're overthinking what may or may not happen, as opposed to concentrating on things that we need to do, is the wrong approach. So um, we try to. We try to keep our concepts as simple as possible. Um, I'm not going to get into details about strategy things, but last night was as hard a playoff game as you're going to have. I mean, and there's every expectation that game four is going to be harder. Middleton had a great game last night. Is there anything, as you looked it over, that you felt like you could have done differently with him? Or He's a great player. <laughs> I thought I thought we were in great position on a lot of plays. He's just he's he's at a point in his season where it looks like he is fully healthy and at the height of his powers for this season. And so we've got to be ready with additional double teaming schemes, scenarios, and you know, I, you know, I've seen a lot of great playoff performances. Um, there are very few, you know, that eclipse what he did last night, <laughs> you know. And, you know, I was in the building when Jordan got 63, you know, and actually played in that game. Um, you know, the, uh, what he did last night was really was really amazing and so you know, it's just it's just another reason just another reason why our respect level for them and their experience and their will is ultra high even just since you've gotten here you know four months ago now how have you seen miles evolve as a person and player and how is he compared to maybe what you expected of him from afar yeah, no, I mean, I think obviously I knew some of the stuff that he can do offensively um, and defensively. Like, I mean, I remember playing them. It was a nightmare trying to get to the rim, you know, blocking shots, like doing all those stuff, and then like being able to space the floor. But I thought, you know, just his attention to details, like um, we, we've, we've been like on, as a, as a team, like with the defense, like just, you know, certain things that we do, like, you know, we ask a lot of him, you know, and I think he's, he's doing amazing with that. Um, locked in on defense and on offense and especially with guys like Dame like that can like you know like shoot from that far you know you got to be up as a big like and it's not easy you know um, but Miles has been doing good man like, he's been you know every single day getting better um, and and yeah that's we're gonna need you know every every single minutes of him just doing that. Going into last night they put that front court match under your double board. Do you know that he had to be more involved on offense and what how do you like what he did with that? Yeah, no, and I think I think for us it's just like exploring whatever matchups we feel like and like, you know, setting more, you know, the pick and rolls or whatever we have to do. Um, and we, we expected that the matches would have to change probably. Um, but, you know, like, I don't think like this team is worried any like about who's scoring or who's doing what. Like, for us, it's just about winning. Um, so, uh, however we can do that and wherever we feel like we can get a shot or whatever or like, you know, an open shot. You know, that's what we, we, we kind of focus on. After a game like that, do you go back and watch it night of, morning, or you just wait for the film clips from the coaches? Um, yeah, I, well, I couldn't really sleep much. <laughs> I feel like I was just kind of like wired up like all night. Um, I, I slept a little bit, but but you, you, yeah, you kind of have like, I, I don't like to do it, but after games like that, you have a nurse to just go, go back and watch it real quick. So um, I watched it last night, I watched it this morning. So. Um, yeah, that was just, that's just me personally, though. What were your takeaways? Um, I mean, I thought, yeah, like, I mean, it was a tough game. We are playing against a great team. Guys are going to, you know, like, we, we got up, you know, a lot, but we know that they're going to keep fighting. Like, they, they have they have championship, like, 
experience on that other side. So um, it's a gritty, gritty, gritty win. But those are the games that you want to win, man. You live to be in those type of games. Um, we know it's not going to be easy, and we don't want it to be easy. We want to go and grind for it. Um, and that's, those are one of those games. How do you avoid thinking about guys that could be injured and you know stars out of the lineup and not worry about that and just keep that same level of intensity? Yeah, I mean, I think for me personally, I don't even know. Like, because I, like, I'm nowhere. I'm, I'm not anywhere. Like, I'm not on social media. I'm not anywhere. So, like, I don't, I don't know what's happening. Um, and, and in my head, I, I, I just go into game knowing that everybody's on the play. So, um, I don't really, I, I, I literally don't think about that. How important was Ovi's start last night? Kind of the, the, the fast start he got off to to your success, and how do you see his role being in this series? Yeah, the yeah, he's important for us. Um, I think when Obi, you know, like his pace, I mean, it's, he's one of the best to do it, you know, in the league. So um, when he has that pace and that energy, um, it just everything flows for him, and it helps us as a team, you know, to play with the pace that we want to play, and he's a big part of that. Obviously, it's like Ty and whoever is taking the ball out or like whoever is going to bring the ball up, but it's also like, you know, the bigs running and, and Obi is like one of the best of that. So, um, you know, we, we want him to keep doing that and, and uh, he's a big part of what we do. We know the crowds in those Toronto playoff runs were outstanding. What did you think of what you experienced last night? Yeah, it was, it was crazy. It was dope. Um, I just love like being part of those moments and, um, you know, seeing crowds like that, like yesterday, you know, just so much energy, like, I was saying yesterday that there's, still, there's a, lot, like, a lot of time where I didn't know, you know, I didn't hear anything, you know, we're trying to call plays. I'm like, I don't, I don't know what's going on. So um, it's, it's dope, man. Like, and, and as a player, like you just, those are the moments, that's where you want to be. You know, you want to be in those games and see the crowd go crazy. Um, and we're going to need them to double that up, you know, next game. Your perspective on the last play with Tyrese as you kind of came up and then saw him, you know, deny the, the screen and go. Um, yeah, I mean, big shot by, you know, a special player. Um, and, you know, he made a, an incredible read on that play um, and, and got to his spot and, and, you know, do what he does. So um, it's, it, was, it was, at the end of the day, like, you know, you can look at, oh, you didn't shoot well, do, do what, or this, that. But when those moments come, you know, you, you got to just step up to it. And, and he did. Um, yeah. Like you were grinning before the floater even left his hand. Yeah, no, I mean, to, it looked good to me from from when I, I felt like he shot it, you know. So, because um, because he can he can I know I think his touch is is super tough and and, and I always tell him all the time it's like I mean you gotta shoot more floaters man like because his floater is good he had, he had a good touch around the rim.